the Pearl Attempts Network Handicap Hurdle Final is next. And this is one of the races you had to qualify for throughout the season. There's only a field of 10. Not everybody that qualified has taken up the opportunity to run it at the top. We've got Dance of the Demons, the top weight, Joshua Sutherland, Orlando Template, Vinnie Gerard, Flying Higher, Darren Thompson, Queen's Look, David Hooley, Crews on By, Craig Beckwith, October Sunset, Graham Clutterbuck, Expressway, Prad Rag Hogan, Manor Born, Graham Clutterbuck, I Love My Brick, Kevin Meadahan, and Natural 20 for Padraig Hogan. So 10 of them then in the Pearl Attempts final. Called in and away. And who's going to be the one to take the running up? It looks like it might be Orlando Template for Vinnie Gerard. Skips over the first flight in the lead. Pulling for its head. Wants to go quicker. Jockey's trying to restrain it. Let's see who wins the battle as they race towards the second of the 12 flights. And Orlando Template is in the lead. Line of about seven or eight of them for second as they get over the second. Which they're all safely over. And the pace as in the last race, a bit slow to start with. Nothing seems all that keen to bowl along in front. We saw some front runners staying in front yesterday. We've already seen two front runners stay in front today. So maybe that's the answer, is to get into the lead and stay there. But nothing seems to want to do that, particularly in this race. Orlando Template, you get the feeling he's there on sufferance at the moment. And he's two or three clear. The rest of them Virtually queuing up in a line behind, with the exception of all of my brick and natural 20s. So they skip over flight four, and Orlando Template maintaining that three length or so lead. Manaborn has moved into second. Now a clear second, maybe that one thinks it's, it's time, but the pace just quickens a little bit as they race downhill and start to swing left handed. Orlando Template three clear of Manaborn in second. And a whole host of them sharing third as they race past that plane fence and head towards the next flight of hurdles. And Orlando Template is three clear. Of Manaborn in second, who's probably four clear of the rest of them. Just about headed by flying higher, I think, as they come down to the next. All over that one, okay, although David Hewley's Queen's look was a little bit messy at the back. Orlando Temple continues to lead. Four lengths clear. Vinny Gerard had a winner yesterday in the Coral Cup. I think it was San Jose Terrible. Vinny was predominantly a flat trainer for most of SO6 and is now an accomplished dual code trainer, really. It's plenty of good winners on the jumps and leads by three lengths. Manaborn is in second as they come up past the big screen, take the flight, that'll be the last on the next circuit, they're all over it okay, they're all jumping nicely, and Orlando Template is the leader, as they swing out there for their final circuit, Orlando Template and Manaborn, they're a good five lengths clear of the rest of them, are headed by October Sunset, the stable mate to Manaborn, then flying higher on expressway and then cruise on by, then natural 20 queens look in the purple jacket on the rail, then I love my brick and finally dance of the demons the top weight trying to give Joshua Sutherland his first winner of the meeting which is not something you'd expect to be saying in the third race on day two as they get to the next they're all safely over that one the leading pair are now matching strides with Manaborn closest to us and Orlando Template on the far side and race past the water jump take the next flight and once again Orlando Template just landed in the lead we're on Manaborn in second gap of five or six then to the rest of them headed by October Sunset and then Expressway as they take the ninth which they're all over safely again and the chasing pack again in that little bit closer now and these two in front haven't gone off too fast so they should have plenty left uh, Manaborn on the outside of Orlando Template, then a gap back to Expressway, then October Sunset, then Cruise on by, then Flying Higher. And after that, Dance of the Demons, the top weights trying to get into it as they skip over the third from home. They're all over that one nicely. And it's still Orlando Template and Manaborn, but only four clear there. Of Expressway, who's third, then October Sunset is fourth. Flying Higher is next. Nothing's played its hand yet as they race downhill. And they've got to swing left handed and then race towards the final three flights and Manaborn 
on the outside is about a neck up now. Orlando template just under a bit of pressure though, and it's only got two more flights to take. And it's Manaborn, an Orlando template from Expressway who's now coming through to join them in third, the first one to really make a move Manaborn's in the lead, Orlando Template and Expressway, Expressway moves into second here comes the top way, Dance of the Demons flying high, is getting into it as well, over the second last they go and Expressway's gone into the lead suddenly Manaborn looks a bit one paced it's Expressway in the lead, Manaborn on the inside, here comes top way, Dance of the Demons, then flying higher, October Sunset's beginning to run on, Orlando Template's beaten, I love my brick, he's trying to get into it so too's crews on by, they've still got three furlongs to go, and they've only got got one more flight to take and it's expressway in the lead from the top way dance of the demons in second then comes october sunset then flying oh, i love my bricks trying to run on they race down towards the final flight then there and it's expressway for Patrick Hogan in the lead from Dance of the Demons for Joshua Sutherland in second. October Sunset's getting closer to the Grand Plus in third. Over the final flight they go and Dance of the Demons has jumped into the lead. It's Dance of the Demons in front from Expressway in second. October Sunset's third. Flying Eyes back in fourth. And the top way Dance of the Demons is suddenly starting to power away. Oh, I love my brick is finishing well but not fast enough. And Dance of the Demons is racing up towards the line. He's going to break Joshua Sutherland's duck at the meeting. And Dance of the Demons wins at Expressway second and then Manaborn, October Sunset and Flying Eye and all the way back to the disappointing Queen's luck and I think most of the experts thought this one had got too much weight oh, I bet Joshua Southern didn't think he'd be his first winner of the meeting but he'd be glad to get that one on the board and with one usually comes two and three so Dunson the Demon stakes it for Joshua Southern Expressway second for Padre Hogan Manaborn was third for Graham Clutterman who also took fourth with October sunset and flying higher for Darren Thompson was fifth.